Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about basic requirements of transducers. So friends, uh, generally, a transducer should respond for the, only for the measurement under the specified limit for which it is designed. And therefore, it is necessary to know the relationship between input and output uh, and it should be fixed and therefore there are some requirements for the transducers let us see one by one the requirements for the transducer the first one is ruggedness see that the transmit uh, the transducer should be capable of withstanding the overload conditions and uh, it should provide the output in that condition also so the overload protection should be there. The next point is linearity. The input and output relationship of a transducer must be linear because overall linear systems are easy to design and uh, hence linearity plays a very important role for the tr transducer. Next one is the repeatability. See the ability to produce same output again and again uh, keeping the environmental condition consistent is known as repeatability. Transducer must provide same output for the same input under the fixed environmental condition for example temperature, pressure, humidity etc. The next requirement is high output signal quality. See that every transducer will consist of some noise but overall the signal to noise ratio must be high. It means that overall signal quality uh, should be good enough and noise should be very very low. Next requirement is the high reliability and stability. Here we can say that uh, the output uh, of the transducer should not be affected by temperature, vibration or other environmental condition and it should provide the most accurate uh, result possible. Okay, overall it should also provide the stable output so that we can rely on it. Next basic requirement for a transducer is the good dynamic response. Good dynamic response means for the uh, input changes it should provide the output when uh, input changes rapidly, output must also changes rapidly. Next is no hysteretic. Hysteretic is the condition for example here I am drawing the row if this is input quantity and if this is output quantity on the y axis. So we, we may get output just like this for the input variation when it is changed from low to high and when we change it from high to low we may get a different output. This portion is basically known as hysteresis. So overall uh, the now, what we expect from the trans transducer for the same input it should provide the same output now in this case for the uh, same input while increasing the input it was providing some different output and pro from decreasing output it is again providing a different one so in this case there should be no hysteretic means that it should provide the same value for s same output value for the same input. Next is convenient for instrumentation. See that uh, our uh, transducer must be must provide high output signal so that uh, uh, when we use it uh, for the um, after amplification we should we can use it. Similarly it should have low noise. The last requirement for a transducer is the good mechanical characteristics. It is the ability to withstand deformation and deterioration in performance caused by the various mechanical strains. So overall uh, these are the basic requirements for a transducer. And friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share. Thank you.